it's funny how much attention we're getting though from people uh, trying to, to bash us. It's, it, and it's really interesting to me um, because I've never ever in the history of my network marketing career spent any time, wasted any time talking about another company or another product or another person that is may or may not be doing something right. It's just, it, it's really interesting how much time, effort, and energy people are putting in to, to bashing LiveGood. Uh, and it just really shows how scared the, the industry is and how they're, I mean, a lot of these are like, why are these guys ruining the industry? We're not yeah. ruining the industry. We're, uh, we're ruining, yeah, we're ruining your opportunity to oversell <laughs> products and continue to make money off people doing it the wrong way. Um, but no, so I mean, just, you know, I'll, I'll just address those things real quick, just a couple minutes, because I, I get a lot of questions. I'm like, look what this, people are like, look what this guy posted, look at this video. And I mean, I'll spend 30 seconds watching a video. I'm not gonna spend, you know, five, yeah. 10, 20, 30 minutes on these videos, it looks like they are. Uh, so I'll watch the first 30 seconds, maybe a minute and see, uh, you know, what they're saying. Um, but from what, uh, so what I'm seeing is, is this, number one, it's illegal to pay commissions on recruiting. That's the first thing I see. So let me, I, I just want you guys to understand. First of all, I mean, we've been in this industry a long time. We've never had any, not a single issue with any government agency, anyone ever, because we do things clean. There's no reason to do things the wrong way, to be shady, to be sketchy, to, do, to, to, to cross that gray line. And we keep things so beyond squeaky clean in yeah. everything that we do. I, I have no intent. I, I don't want to get shut down. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to have other people get in trouble. I don't want you guys to lose an opportunity that you've spent time, effort, and energy building. That's not what we're about. Um, and we, again, everything we do, and it's funny, you know, everyone's like, who are your attorneys? Can you get your attorneys to say something? Guys, look, we've had, <laughs> I've shared who my attorneys were in the past. And what happens is they start getting bombarded with questions and emails and requests. And it's just, I don't want to put them in that situation, but understand we have the best attorneys in the industry. We have the best advisors. We've done this for a long time. We, again, we don't cross a gray line. So I'm going to address the things that I hear. Number one, it's illegal to, uh, to pay commissions on recruiting. It is absolutely not illegal to pay commissions on recruiting. Look at all the headhunter agencies out there that get paid to place people in organizations. It's literally the exact same thing. What yes. is illegal is when the majority of commissions that are paid out in an organization are paid out on recruiting. And when you look at the companies like the $1,200, $1,500, $2,500, $5,000 <laughs> front end loading companies, that's what that's referring to because most of the commissions are paid out on that recruiting, on that first initial order with live good. And so the, the statistic or the number to be clean, it's probably, they, they say the majority, most companies like to keep it 70, 30, less than 30% of commissions are paid out on recruiting or on fast start bonuses, whatever each company calls it. We like to keep it again, even super squeaky clean. We like to keep it at about 20%. That's why 80% in products slash memberships, which is our product. I'll get to that in a second and 20% on recruiting. If we wanted to go more, we would charge $100 one time for the affiliate fee. We wouldn't keep it as low as $40, maybe even $199. But because we want to keep it clean, that's why the affiliate yes. fee is a one-time $40. And a lot of people are saying, well, can you make it annual so we can keep those commissions going? And the reason we kept it at $40 one time is to make sure 100% that we're going to be under that 20% threshold where we want to be to keep it super clean. Yes. Now it is possible that we can make it, maybe we do a $20 yearly. I would like to do an annual fee just to keep people engaged and keep those fast start commissions coming in. And it's possible we could do 20, possibly even 40 because we are moving a lot of product yes. and we are seeing a lot more members come on who are not involved in the opportunity or on the affiliate side. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's why we're doing that. So again, totally not even close to an issue to pay uh, on recruiting as long as it's a small percentage of overall commissions paid out. Now, the first few months is a higher percentage than it's going to be. We've only been doing this for six months right now. But the cool thing is 
the commissions, it, like first month, it was literally all fast starts. Second month, when we pay the first uh, matrix, matrix and matching commissions, then it starts to, you know, it starts to build up. Last month of the 2.5 million that we paid out yesterday, about two point, let's see. Yeah, probably over 2 million of the 2.5 was paid out in matrix and matching bonuses. The, the back end part of the compensation plan, the not recruiting part of the compensation plan. So that's one thing I see. Can't pay out on memberships is another thing I see. I, I don't know if I even have to address how stupid that one is uh, because it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there are so many membership based companies and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, look at prepaid legal, they sell a membership to, or now they're called uh, Legal Shield uh, to legal services. You've got all these travel companies, you've got a mirror plan selling insurance, you've got a lot of different companies out there. Memberships are, are, there's nothing wrong with that. I think what confuses people is that the membership is the product. The membership, and hopefully that makes sense to you guys, the membership is the product. It gives you access to discounts on another line of products. And a lot of people get distracted and, and uh, just kind of misunderstand that we've got this product line, which is amazing. Uh, but the product that we're selling here is a membership. And yes, you can also get retail commissions when you retail the products, but because we don't pay pro uh, commissions on the products, again, the product is the membership. What else do I hear? Um, I actually took a couple notes. Hold on, let me find it. No, are you got any more? Well, no, it's, it's funny that I don't go. hear these things um, because oh, I think okay. they're scared here, here of it me. Is. I got one more. Okay, one go. More on. and, uh, okay. go, go, go. So, it, it, we're illegal because only the only people buying our membership are affiliates. Now, I want you to understand, right now, the, probably the majority of people in LiveGood are affiliates and are paying for the membership. And that's absolutely true. And that's how you have to start a company. You have to build that distributor base, build yes. that affiliate base, the people who are going to go out there and market your product, market your membership, market your service, whatever it may be. So yes, right now, most of our members are affiliates. Not all of them. We've got a lot of people coming in as just members. So what I want you guys to think about and ask yourselves and understand is this. Do we have a valid product, a valid value where people will buy this membership, will pay for this membership, even if there was not a business opportunity attached to it? Would people pay $9.95 a month to save $10, $20, $50, $100 a month on the highest quality nutritional supplements and other products that we bring on the planet? Would they do that? Is there value there? Does it make sense? Or is this just a big hold scam and we're just trying to trick people into paying us 10 bucks a month and just saying they're gonna save money on some products that aren't really that good? Do you see what I'm talking about? The mem in, in most of our, guys, as we build this distributorship, as, oh man, I think it's ready. Our Super Reds landing page. Oh bro, what? what? I'll, I'll tell you what the link is here in a second. Um, but once we roll out, these affiliate landing pages or these product landing pages and all the, the uh, promotional material for products, we are going to see way, 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 way more. And this company, I mean, we're, we're talking about millions and millions of members over the next few years, the vast majority of them. And in this case, like the affiliate commissions or the fast start commit, the recruiting has to be 70, 30 on the other side, it has to be 50, 50 of members to customers meaning people who are not involved in the opportunity, we're probably gonna be at 80% customers there as well, and only 20% affiliates who are buying the membership because the value is so big. People need nutritional supplements. We are bringing the highest quality, best value products to the market on the entire planet, and people are gonna want that, and they do want that, and they're already coming. But again, once we roll out all of these product pages, and all, I mean, people are gonna start buying more and more and more products, more and more and more memberships, totally outside of, unrelated to the affiliate opportunity. And if you guys notice, outside of the Powerline system, we don't market on the website the affiliate opportunity that big. It's a little link at the bottom of the site because we are focused on the memberships. We're focused on the product side of the business. So um, I don't know if there's any more. If you guys have any more questions, you could ask me, but. Um, it, it's it's exciting. It, it's exciting to see kind of the arguments that people are trying to come up with that that, that why we're going to be shut down by the FDA, why we're going to be shut down by the FTC, why we're going to be shut down by the SEC, why we're going to be shut down by Health Canada, why we're going to be shut down by NAVDAC. 
in uh, Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely, it's interesting uh, that people would spend that much time um, and it, it really shows. And it's, it, it's exciting because, you know, again, as I mentioned, I don't ever, I've never, ever, ever done a negative bashing promotional product video, whatever, uh, against any company out there. And all these companies are doing is just giving us more and more and more and more attention and driving yes. more people to see the reality, to see the truth, to see the value that we have here and uh, and really just helping us more than, than anything else. So um, for those of you who have any concerns, just know, again, we don't play games. We don't cross the line. We don't even get close to the line. Um, we keep everything super squeaky clean. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to say. Um, oh, on the FDA thing. So as you know, every single one of our products has the FDA disclaimer, this product is not intended to cure, treat, diagnose any uh, disease, all that stuff. I want you to understand, our manufacturers, we only work with the top manufacturers in, in, in the world. Um, it, most manufacturers, I mean, I, I don't actually even know of any that, that do shady things because <laughs> they will get shut down way yeah. before any company or product that they're selling. If they're manufacturing products, if their labels don't match what they're actually putting in the products, if they do anything that's not GMP certified, good manufacturing practices, they're the ones that can be shut down. Our manufacturers are so strict. I mean, you should see some of the stuff that we have on our label that's not even like, scary. It's like, <laughs> like, Here's one. Here's a great example. Nauter's got the factor four. I'm going to have you read what's on the back here in a second, Nauter. Um, our factor four, we, we called it factor four anti-inflammatory. That was the original name. Now, what is it called? What's it say on the front, Nauter? Factor, factor four, four advanced, advanced formula. formula. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch of stuff here. You tell me. Advanced for Yeah. My point is it doesn't even say, does it say inflammation anywhere on the front of that bottle? No, sir. No, we were not even allowed to use the word anti-inflammatory. We're to sell so. an anti-inflammatory product that other companies are selling. And a lot of products out there are called anti-inflammatory. That's how squeaky clean we are. Now, on the back, you will see that there is a little blurb about inflammation. Other side. No, flip. Yeah, read that, Nodder. Oh my read goodness, you think I can read this? I'm blind. Okay, I'll tell you what it says. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to read it. Just put it read down. Read the eye okay. bottom. Yeah, we need an eye product for Nodder's eyes. So basically, we had to, to sign off on having this statement of fact on the back of the bottle. It doesn't say that our product does anything. It just says what ha inflammation. It's a general, generic statement about inflammation, how inflammation is the root cause of almost every disease out there on the planet. We were not able to, to say, I mean, it, it took a fight just to have the word inflammation on that bottle of product. So. You know, when it comes to FDA, again, not only are we super overly aggressively compliant, but our manufacturers are even more. Uh, and some of the stuff like this one made no, we, there's like a thousand products on the market that are called anti-inflammatory and they wouldn't let us put anti-inflammatory on there. That's why it's called advanced formula, even though it is literally the best anti-inflammatory product ever created.